Good morning, church. Here we are, chapter 16 today. Uh, we skipped kind of the end of chapter 15, and then in the next couple of days, we'll finish up the book of Romans. Um, if you look back at chapter 15, verse 22 and following, what you see is Paul is telling him, he's like, hey, um, I, I can't wait to get to see you. And I'm, I'm bringing help for the brothers and sisters. Um, today, what I want you to see is that, that what Paul is doing in the end of chapter 15 and chapter 16 is he's saying, we're all working together for the one purpose of glorifying our God and Father because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we do that in all ways. If you go back to the beginning of, of Romans, you can just read through the one another's. Um, end of chapter 15, he's bringing money or funds so he can support those who, who need help, just like we would do today. Um, chapter 16, what, what I want you to listen to is just, it's almost like a big list of uh, thank yous. So this is Paul's, you know, at the end of a service or whatever, somebody might say, hey, thank you to everybody who's helping. What, what I want you to get, Paul is saying, thank you to everybody who's helping because, look, just like Pastor Steve can't do what he does alone, um, and, and Paul couldn't do what he did alone. And so check this out. He says, I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a servant of the church, that you may welcome her in the Lord in, in a way of worthy of the saints, and help her in whatever she may need from you, for she has been a patron of many and myself as well. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ, who risked their necks for my life, uh, to whom not only I give thanks, but all the churches of the Gentile give thanks as well. Greet also the church in their house. Greet my beloved Epikinetus, who was the first convert to Christ in Asia. Asia. Greet Mary. Greet Andricanus. And, and he goes on and on, and he's just saying, greet these people and thank them, and greet one another, verse 16, with the holy kisses. All the churches in Christ greet you. So this, again, it was back before COVID-19, when you could do a holy kiss. Now you got to do air hugs. Right, But the big thing I want you to get is thank you. Right, Thank you for watching. Thank you for participating in Bible study. Thank you to everybody who's helped with this. Um, Stormy, give a short shout out to Stormy and say thank you to her because she's videoing these and all the other guys at the church and people. Um, questions to think about. What are you thankful for? Like if you could list three things, what are you thankful for that God's done? Another question, who are you thankful for? Right, Not just what God has given you or done, but who is it in your life that is that has made it so you can keep growing in Christ and helped you with whatever God has for you to do. Because, listen, just frankly, uh, pastors are a dime a dozen, and uh, what we do can't happen. What preachers do can't happen. What evangelists do can't happen. What missionaries do can't happen unless the whole body of Christ surrounds them and helps them and sends them out and supports them so they can go and do gospel work. 